I'm Mark Knapp. I'm uh, one of the co-founders and uh, vice president of sales here at Notora. What do you like to do for fun? Um, well, a lot of different things. Mostly outdoor. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of hiking. I like spending time in the woods, so I hunt a lot. I love fishing. Um, that's why I, when I moved, so I moved to Atlanta earlier this year in March to come up and be in the headquarters office before I was kind of remote. And uh, since I moved up here, I've found that this place is a, 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 a wonderland of outdoor activities with hiking and things that you can do. So I'm a big fan of that. As you're out and about and you stop for something to eat, where would you go? What restaurant is your favorite and why? The Lord's Chicken, man. You got to go to Chick-fil-A. It's Atlanta. It's, it's fried chicken. You know, I'm from the South, too. I grew up in North Florida, um, South Georgia kind of area. So uh, Chick-fil-A, they... It's one of the most efficient companies I've ever seen in my life. It's They're pretty fantastic. popular. Yeah. So speaking of food, what's your go-to snack or candy? Ooh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. The big ones though, right? So, so you got the ones that come in like the four pack or whatever. Not those. I'm talking the one that's like that big. <laughs> Which is why like Easter or any, or they do one in Halloween. It's like a pumpkin side. I'm Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. No doubt, hands down. So you've been all over the place in this industry, and you've you've had lots of opportunities. Why Notora? Oh man! So in the past, I've always been a part of something, right? But it's been a small part. It's been a cog. It's been uh, you know some aspect of of just just being a, an individual contributor, which is great, right? You want to do that, but you know, as I was progressing through my career, you, you start thinking about you know you spend a lot of your life at work. And you start thinking about what do I want to do? What do I want to do that I'm passionate about? And in my last company, it was more construction related. And, um, you know, that's where I met my business partners. So, you know, David, Josh, Jonathan, when I met those guys there, worked for David. Jonathan worked for me for a little while, but we were peers for another little while. You know, I worked very closely with Josh and I became friends with those folks. And when we saw the market kind of turning a little bit to where specialization was something that the market was finally ready for, and we could separate and peel back engineering. I've always been passionate about engineering. Me and my, me and my dad built my very first, we built walkie-talkies for each other when I was eight years old. So I've, I've been passionate about communication since I was a kid, but it's never been implementing those systems. It's always been designing and building and make, making them, how does this work, right? So. When I saw an opportunity out there to work with very close friends, people that I trust and admire, and have been mentors and taught me more than you know, I've learned really anywhere else, and I can go into business with those folks, why, why wouldn't we jump on that? I mean, how risky was that move? But at the same time, it's so rewarding because there's no one that you can blame for being unhappy about your day at work. Your day is what you make it. And what a great place to be in your career to where you can you can really chart your own destiny so when we did this that's why i wanted to do it that's why notora we wanted to build something that was real that was ours and that we could enjoy that's exciting yeah. so what's the best concert you've ever attended Ooh. um so in 2000 i was stationed at warner robbins which is Providence air force base down in warner robbins and um, I had just met, this is my ex-wife now, but I had just met her and we were dating and everything was phenomenal. And I found out Pearl Jam was coming to town. I'm a giant Pearl Jam fan, right? So I got tickets, but I bought two and had no one to take when I bought the tickets. I bought them eight months before I met her. And so I knew that the concert was coming up and I said, oh, you know what? I could take her to this concert. She never even heard of Pearl Jam. Like, never even heard of them. Never, didn't grow up with that kind of music. She knew bluegrass music and things, but I took her to the Pearl Jam concert, and she is, she is now one of the most diehard, lifelong Pearl Jam fans from that one concert. And it was it was stellar. It's I've been to multiple Pearl Jam concerts. That's hands down my favorite. Wow. Yeah. And speaking of favorites, what's your favorite movie? Ooh. Uh, I would have to say Heat. So Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, um, Danny Trejo, just names and names of people that are there. Um, that, that just It's a very power-packed, star-driven kind of, like Tone Loke is in that movie, right? Mm -hmm. 
Um, and if you've never seen it, Heat is this, uh, it's this, this drama between uh, a robbery crew. They take down the scores, right? And it's, it's, that's De Niro's team and they're criminals. And then you've got Al Pacino on the other side and he's the robbery homicide detective in LA that's trying to take them down. And my favorite part about it is, first of all, it's tactically accurate. It's, it's fantastic. Everything about it, the, the gunfights, and you know my background, I, I love guns, but watching that play out and then watching that interaction between two powerhouse actors, first of all. Second of all, they're also, it's an interesting mix. There's a, there's a scene in it that's real compelling. They're sitting across the diner table from each other and they say, you know, now that we've talked, now that we've met, we, we clearly have a lot in common. Um, but if I see you on the street, I won't hesitate to take you down. But it's that gentleman's agreement between, hey, we're at this impasse, and it's, it's really opposites there actually having a civil conversation. And I think that says a lot about what I like about what I think we should be, is you have an adversary, you have somebody that sees something from a different point of view, but we can all come together and talk. We can all have a good conversation and, and not be contested. Well, speaking of favorites, what is your favorite family tradition? Ooh, um, I have a couple, but my, I think my biggest one is the fact that in my family, it's not mandatory to do military service, but it's highly encouraged. In other words, we all do it. Um, so I'm, I'm really, I'm thrilled that, uh, you know, my, all of my siblings serve in the military, all of them. Um, I expect the next generation of kids to serve in the military, my dad. So I'm, I'm actually seventh generation military in my family. And the, the eighth generation is now uh, 17 years old, I think. So we'll see what they do. But it's been a big tradition in us, um, in our family, for service. And you know, I'm, I'm a service-hearted guy. That's why we started a service company. We wanted to be solutions for folks. And I like the fact that I've had that kind of mindset institutionally in my family since a very young age. Mm -hmm.